Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm checking out a, I think it's a 96 Camry. Buster Brown said it's the cleanest car you ever seen. Lights falling out of it, grill missing, bumpers all dinged up, lights been up in it, dents the whole way around, been side swiped, the back of it's dented, the back of it trunk is dented. I hadn't seen a panel on the car that's not dented, but on the phone, it was the cleanest car he's ever seen. Very clean. Low miles, whatever. <laughs> It's having a problem. It's got a no start issue. You got the battery in? Yeah. Well, crank it. Let's see it here it start. I'm going to check out the no start issue. Looks like a six cylinder. He's going to go start it. A common problem with these things is people overheat them because there's a bypass hose down there. It goes under the intake manifold, under the fuel injection rail to the other side of the engine. And when that hose splits and it leaks all the fluid out, people don't know it, and then they overheat the car and destroy the engine. All right, go ahead, try to crank it. He's going to try to crank it. We're going to see why it's not starting. All right, the key's in the ignition. All I hear is a starter click. It's not cranking. So when you have a car with a no crank situation, the first thing you want to do is see if the vehicle engine is locked up. The second thing you want to do is replace the starter. Make sure the starter is getting the power it needs. But I can hear the starter engaging the solenoid, so the starter may be bad. Let's see if the crank will turn on it. This is what you call a no crank situation. We pull the tire off. We put a tool on the crank. And it does turn. See if I can set this up so you can see the crank turn. So you can see it over there to the left. The engine does turn. Feels like it has compression, but the starter's not turning it. So next step is to test, make sure the starter's getting 12 volts, and or just replace the starter. Or pull the starter, take it somewhere to have it tested. After rolling the harmonic balancer a little bit, turning the engine over, tapping the starter, now it engaged a couple times, but the car still won't start, so we're going to check for spark this time. Doesn't sound like it has compression either. Now we're going to check for spark. We got the spark plug pulled and laid on a metal bolt. So that plug should spark when I go to crank it. Well, I guess I better plug that coil in or nothing's gonna spark. So we're getting in a minute crank. We have spark because it was sparking while it was cranking. Now we're gonna check for fuel pressure. This rail doesn't have a quick test, so you could probably pull this line off here and see if you're getting fuel pressure spray out of that regulator. Or you could pull the regulator, hit the starter, and see if it gives a good squirt of fuel out of it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of fuel in the rail, but we don't know if it's pumping or not until we try to crank it with the uh, regulator unplugged. So we're going to pull this regulator off and hit the start. All right, I'm going to pull this fuel regulator out while he tries to start it, see if I get a burst of gas. Go ahead, try to start it. All right, stop, stop. All right, we have fuel pressure we don't know if it's enough or not but we're going to check compression because it doesn't sound like it has any compression if it doesn't we're going to drop some oil down in there and see if that'll change it. now we're checking compression i think i disconnected the fuel ejection system Let's see if it starts you go ahead all right hold on let me crank it over a little bit this cylinder up here in the middle has very little bit of compression it has less than 30. No compression, wet or dry. So the engine has an extremely blown head gasket. It's probably better to replace the engine than just the head. 
If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.